Hi, I'm Kate, and thank you for watching The Blood Exchange. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, so do you think um, you can have a healthy relationship with a woman as the leader? Yeah. Should women lead relationships? Should women re lead relationships? I feel like we do <laughs> most of the time. And then that's why most of us are not married, right? Um... Hmm. Most. Do you think that m women are ready to lead relationships? And it's actually, do you think it's working when women re lead relationships? It does work, but then it becomes a burden because then you're carrying the relationship, you feel me? And I feel like you're going against your nature to carry the relationship. You don't like that. It's like you want to do it, but then when you do it, you realize, hey, wait a minute, this is whack. Why am I doing this? Wait a minute, didn't you want to do it? Which one yeah. is it? Okay. You want both. It's a good lesson. You want the power, True. it's the power. You want the power of a man, but then you want a man to be a man and be powerful. You can't have both. You have to pick which one. You want the powerful man or you want to be the powerful one? Yeah! <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> to the blood exchange. Woo! Yeah! Episode 38. 38. Oh, we almost 40, guys. How you feel? Nah, I'm not never feel 40. Mature. Almost 40. I'm never 40. <laughs> you just feel mature. Still hungry. <laughs> I feel still hungry. Once again, I'm your host, Aim Gunner. Yes, sir. This is the blood exchange. Don't forget to hit the uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification <laughs> bell. Help <laughs> us grow the channel. Send it to your friends. Yeah, send it to your friends. Share, of course. You know, I'm trying to get a Lambo. We, hey, four, hey, two. Hey, I want a Lambo too. Three. 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 Four. Four. I want four a Lambo. Lambo. We need four Lambos. And there's some staff too. Let's say approximately eight to ten Lambos. Eight to ten. At least. <laughs> All right? Preferably. That's a lot. So, you know, that's what we're working on. We're trying to take uh, the trip. As we do every time, I'm going to introduce my co-host. I'm going to try this for the second week in a row. I'm going to try this new way. To the left, I have my A1 from the, from the day one. My guy from the sandbox. Crump, a.k.a. Crump Diddy, a.k.a. Yeah. Dexter, yeah, a.k.a. Yeah, yeah. Vibes, nah, nah, Serial nah. Killer, nah, nah, a.k.a. Nah, William nah, H. Nah, the nah. All-Time Great, yeah. a.k.a. Yeah. Paper over. over People. And to my right, to my far right, I have the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, Bleak, yes. a.k.a. Pablo, what? a.k.a. Made by Pablo, uh -huh. a.k.a. DJ Wavy <laughs> Seal, a.k.a. <laughs> AKA, AKA, I'm not letting no pussy pass me, I gotta smash it because I'm that guy. And I'm your, oh, and we have a special guest, a returning guest, a part of the family, actually, as, as you will, one of the first ladies of Blood Exchange. Yes. We have 24K. Hey! Yo, yo, yo. K, K, K. Welcome back. AKA, Welcome AKA. Back. Welcome back. This is the second time. What do we get for a nickname? Little Brit. No, bro. We'll have a nickname by the end of the episode. We'll give you. We have another nickname for you by the end of the episode. So next time, we will not have only one nickname for you when we introduce you. <laughs> er, and I am your host, and Gunner, aka Low Life, aka Horsepower, aka <laughs> Gregory <laughs> Hans, the Tap Dance, dance tap, John, tap, tap. aka <laughs> aka the Moonwalker, aka the Real Gunner, aka New Shoes On, bang, bang, bang. the Real Gunner. Tap tap tap. Oh, and we're back, guys. Hey, how's everybody doing? I want to hear about your weekends, your plans for the week coming up. What's going on? How y'all feeling? Anything new? Muchas Talk to Let's start Crump, Bleak, K. Let's do um, it. You know, I had a good... Uh, this past week was good. I was in Miami shooting a video. So oh, what? what? Miami. Coño. Yeah. Boy, look tanny. Fancy. It was cool. Little tan. Little tan. Little, tan. little South Beach. You know what I mean? Welcome to Miami. Yeah, mm. shout out to the music little video out beach. there. He said something. He was talking about regular. Okay. I heard Miami's like one of the hardest I places. On, I actually went on a Tuesday, so you know it was about work. I heard Miami's one of the hardest places to date. I, yeah, I, so I, was, I heard it's like a there. different culture down there when it comes to like uh, money so you know, showing off wow. money and mm. being naked because you know the weather and all that yeah. it's just like a tough dating scene it's one of the mm. toughest in the country mm. I heard I don't know I heard there's so many options so many women do you, you frequent uh, Miami? I used to I kind of got bored because it, oh. it, it, hey. it felt like a little little Dykeman, mm. part two. Hey, hey, we love Dykeman. Dykeman. Bigger Dykeman. Right Bigger yeah, Dykeman. Yeah, like... We love Dykeman. Down south Dykeman. Dykeman uh, down south. South Dykeman. Dykeman by the beach. Mm. Uh, bleak? South of the border, Dykeman. Hey, <laughs> I love that. Um, last week, my week is fine. I love this new weather. Finally reached like 70 Brand new degrees. weather they yeah. released. Got my shorts. 70. I do got a long sleeve, though. You know what I mean? Got to protect yourself. They just dropped the new the weather, shorts. guys. Dropped the new weather. The new patch. Shorts. Feeling good. Damn. Watching a lot of shows, it's amazing. How was, your, how, how was your week? 
Okay. It was good. I actually worked all weekend. Okay. Wow. Which I actually Money. like. I do bottle service, so. Oh. Money time. Like oh. Oh. Everything's back open. You, you feel great, right? right? So they can see you at where they want to pull you up to you or nah? <laughs> no, no. They have I said, do you, do you want to tell the people where you uh, where you bottle service at so they can um, pull up on you? It's technically, right now, <laughs> it's a secret me. location. Hey, hey, hey drop the GPS. Like, I don't want to get you in trouble or anything. Yeah. Yeah. I also yeah. don't want to get you stalkers. It's a weird, it's a weird nope. world we live in right now. <laughs> we don't it's like want a that. weird landscape. <laughs> We're not sending those nah, over that's there. That's true. That's true. But hey, you you follow her or her page. You know, all her information yeah, is there. Yeah, you want to pop out, pop out, She probably has something in her story or something. She'll put, hit she'll the DM. Info. Hit the DM. <laughs> she'll she give you info. You. She might Don't just do send it. the Don't do it. Listen, hit the DM. Is, that's at your own risk. Hey, what is, what, is, what is the percentage? What, what's the chance of somebody has of reaching you via the DM? If they DM you, do they have an honest? Are you going to respond? What's they have the an chances? honest chance? First of all. Uh-oh. I have to be able to see it. Okay. And okay. then if I see it. Oh, you're getting it, that many DMs. Wow. I mean, I think that's how your, your box is set up anyway. Yeah. yeah. Don't you have to, like, uh, res- uh, accept requests the from people that are not your ones, friends? Yeah. yeah. Yes, you do. You have to accept yeah. everything. And then, like, from there, it has to be, like, you can't just be, like, hey, and I'm going to say hey. Hey. Back. It's like, okay. Hey. You, you know be, what? I respond to the corny jokes. Well, yeah. you know, one thing, we're we going to talk about that. Because I have a couple questions I want to ask about DMs <laughs> with females. <laughs> Because I feel like a lot of dudes, y'all shoot yourselves in the foot way too fast on these DMs. And we're going to talk they about promise that. The I'm going to give you some, ask, ask some advice for y'all later on. They got 140 characters to, so, to promise so, the world. So, Kate, you was working. You said that's it? Anything yeah, else? Yeah, just working. Just working. Right. Um, celebrating my sister's graduation. Shout oh, out to congratulations. Woo! Congratulations. Shout it's, out it's, uh, to more her, More education man. in the family is always a good a, thing. Shout out. Shout out. School. Awesome. Stay in school, Keep doing man. It. Read books. But, uh, Beauty, brains, same, and booty. And at the same point in time. The College traditional ways of schooling is not for everybody. Maybe there's some, maybe there's a trade out there for you. Maybe the there's a B, cert yeah. that you can get that's right for you. So just because you don't go to college don't mean nothing. You can still get it done. All right, that's sure. words from the blunt exchange. Right. Word, word of the, the day, day. Word of the day. Word, word of the, the day. day. Brought to us by 24K. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. So the word of the day is counterproductive. Counterproductive. counter-productive. Wow. So, so anyone want to take a guess? I'm gonna, Lazy nigga. I'm gonna say the opposite of productive, not yeah. being productive. Okay. Always being finding like, a way not to be. Pr- I think always finding a way to not be productive. Yeah. Counterproductive. Actively, actively, actively. being not productive, like, <laughs> Negative. like procrastination. The yeah, opposite yeah, of productive. Yeah. The opposite. Anti-productive. Uh, anti-productive. The entire thing. Okay. You shouldn't even be okay. upset. So I'm, gonna, the- I'm gonna go along with one <laughs> definition. The actual definition is it's an adjective, counterproductive. Okay. Okay. Is having the opposite of the desired effect. Hey. Fire. Yeah, I think we got it. Guys, don't be counterproductive today. Yeah. If you're about money, don't do things that don't get your money, like spending it. Yes. Oh my God. Unless you unless you're save investing. your money, man. Yeah, yeah. Then that's a good that's way to spend it. <laughs> save your money, man. That's I mean, literally still... the problem I've been having. Yeah, okay. That's what? the problem you've been having? Yeah. Let's talk about it. What's the problem? Like, um, like I've been kind of bored. During the week, yeah. okay, okay, like since I don't have a normal job, like mm-hmm. nine to five, whatever, mm-hmm. and then I've like did this thing of like associating buying shit with like doing actual productive things, and it's like that's not productive. Mm. It just makes you feel like you're productive because yeah. you're running around buying, doing this, doing that. But it's like, bro, when you're you get not. back home, you're like, yo, all I did was spend money today. What yeah. does someone tell me all the time? They said if you save money, uh huh, no, if you if you get a sale or discount yeah. on something you don't really need, uh-huh. then you're not saving money. Mm. You're yeah, actually like, spending money you don't need to be spending. Yeah, like I like so the, it's like you mentally trick yourself. Yes, like, oh, yeah. you're thinking you're saving money, but you're not really saving. Absolutely. Like she didn't need that shit. Yeah, yeah. it's the way it is. Yeah. You would have saved more if you would have not bought it. Yeah, you didn't yeah. Re, like you didn't really save seventy so percent. Yeah, yeah, you just you just spent hundred percent of shit you shouldn't have spent. Exactly, exactly. That also, <laughs> so you've been uh, using a lot of your free time to uh, to Shop. get some more material uh, possessions. I it think feels, a lot of people do that. But yeah. it feels good. I think that's a normal retail therapy. People feel better um, about yeah. themselves when they buy new things. That's a thing. Yes. Yeah, I have friends no, that literally. they say they're depressed and then they'll have to they buy a couple pairs of sneakers and they feel better. Yeah. For a little while. For a little Temporary. while. Temporary. Like, and you and you hear like you'll be like, Oh, what do you do today? And it's like, Oh, nothing. I went to the store, I bought this, I bought that, and it's like you really didn't actually do anything. You were just shopping. You just went to go buy stuff. You were just feeling good. You but then, okay, but yourself. there's a fine line then, and, and then where does the line come in? Because they say feeling better about yourself, mental health is important. Very important. And if important. shopping is something that gives me a release, that releases stress for me, that makes me feel better, then why isn't it a therapeutic thing for me? Mm. Because then when you're homeless and mad fly, I get it. Then, you're <laughs> then your priorities like, you're are fucked up. Depressed. That's like half yeah. of Harlem. <laughs> wow. That's just, yeah. I said it. You said it. 
I know a lot of niggas with Montclairs that sleep on the floor. I mean, there's Moving a lot. On. Um, there's a lot of those in Washington Heights too. I'm sure. So about that. <laughs> everywhere, hey, all everywhere, over the world. Bro. Hey, I know a lot of niggas in big Montclairs, big fire shit. Yeah. Sleep next to the roaches. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Sleep right next to the paper but towels. But I got the but I got the fresh J's. So they got them early. You dig? You I can was keep in them line. clean with the paper towels. I was there. Oh, by that yeah, shit you put on your soles and you never stepped on them. Yeah, that costs money, bro. And you, have to, you have to have heat for that. You got to go hard. What you was the put, point? You need, a, you need a hair dryer, to, uh, a blow dryer to put them on the bottom So what of was the, the point of copping the J's, though? If, you but if my electricity isn't, isn't on, what are we talking about? Nah. I'm not worried I need about my J's phone light for this. after that. You crazy? Mm-hmm. The phone light lights the crib. So. Mint condition. Oh, shit. Kicks got to be mint condition. All right, condition. guys. We had a good word of the day. I feel like uh, I feel like today's one of those days we should just have like a good old-fashioned... Uh, Chit chat. Let's talk about some shit. There's some shit I want to talk about. Talk about some it. Some shit that's happening around in the world right now. Talk about it. And I want to talk about it. now that we have a female perspective. There's so many things I want to ask. There's so many questions I want to get back to. Gather yourself. Are bro. all women queens? Are all men kings? Yeah. Of I course. mean, I'm asking you a question about queens. We can ask whatever you want to. You can ask me whatever um, you want to ask. I mean, yeah. I feel like just mm-hmm. it, by the laws of physics, here we, we go. Just are. So then, what is a queen? Um. A woman. There oh, so you a go. queen we is just a life. woman. We bring life. We continue we life. We mm-hmm. create. Mm-hmm. We create. Not only create it, but we maintain it. We raise it. We feed it. Good point. Doesn't that is, doesn't that just make you a woman? That's why they're queens. Yeah, but without, but we're. Um, I mean, yeah, we're women. See, when I when I was when I was growing up, we're more queens than y'all are kings. Oh wow! I feel. Now okay. we have a. We're going to get there. But when I was growing up, (laughs) when I was growing up, I thought that queens were like an elevated part of society. They were like Mm. a ruling class. You know, they were like, they were like a social class. No, they were the ruling class. They were either elected or they were or they took power because they were elected. They had some some sort of power. some, Some were elected, some were. Some were born into, you know, power through their family. So Some were married into Married into yeah. power. Married. Um, and as times, you know, in, the, in more modern times, they were elected yes. or, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. So I thought it was like an elevated, like a, a prestigious, like title, queen. Yeah. I didn't think it was just uh, a way to, uh, to talk about human beings, to, to separate men are kings and women are queens. So how can how can every that's woman t- be a queen? That's, so what, that's, that's just what a I'm, position. I'm curious about that. That's just a position that comes. Because if every woman's a queen, then queen just means woman. That queen means nothing. No, nah, queen means a lot. It has no meaning. If everybody right. is it, then what is the real meaning to it? There's no significance to it. Of course, there's a significance because um, that's I you. I feel like every woman is a queen. It just differs on the way that you carry yourself and what you do to make you more of a queen than another. Do women ever lose hmm. their queenship if they if they're not carrying themselves like a queen? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like, like that saying, um, queens don't leave their throne to address peasants. So if you do peasant stuff, you might be a queen, but right now you're but giving you peasant. peasant. But there's no so, such. Th- but there would be no such thing as a peasant by that logic because everyone's a queen or a king. So no, there's no. You have to address everything. There's another queen talking. Yeah, uh-huh. but there's some more. You know, some some girls could be queens and give peasant, or give vibes like Joker, or, or just or, bad vibes, or just give. Everything else but queen, but it's like okay, queen. So to be honest, I think I maybe I'm just being a little too literal. I don't because think to so. Because to me, I think a queen is like a, a, to me personally. Yeah. You have to to act and think. move like a queen. Like you have to, you know, carry yourself like a queen. Like yeah. Otherwise, you're just give a woman. Some examples. Yeah, no, for real. You know but I mean? give like, examples because she gave examples. You didn't give agree with examples, those. Give some examples of what someone acting like a queen. Like queen yeah. behavior. You know, carrying like. yourself in a respectable manner, like uh, uh, speaking not to people just, just in. Being in, in, a, in a way that you, commands you respect. Do you feel, do you like, feel you know women I mean? twerking on the internet is, is, queen is that like, queen behavior? I feel like there's a time and place for everything, but to be honest with you, more than likely if you're twerking on the internet, no. like there's an internet twerking, I mean, that's not a, is the, I don't think that's a queen-like behavior. Uh-huh. Mm. I feel like a queen would don't be way more modest. I don't th- even in the, in the it's it's shameful for the queen to show her titties and shit, right? Like oh, no. oh like Bridgerton, yeah. Like know. that's shameful. You don't want no one to see your shit. Why you're not? Because it's your your shit is special. You, did your you shit guys is VIP. Watch I don't think um, you can say that for research purposes. I had to watch Bridgerton. Oh God, just say it was a good show. I mean, I was you know it was more <laughs> for community show. service. It's things yeah, I had I to do. I think community it. service. Uh, uh, left asked about like what about Rihanna? Then nowadays. 
Well, right now, like women in power. Yeah, because now there's like a movement for like what sexual like liberation. Liberty, for, yeah. Which is it's a double standard because like we always talk about this off camera. Sometimes the trends, to me personally, this is my perspective here. Okay, blow it. Sometimes the trends and the things that are popular right now are not conducive or they are not... They don't line up. They don't line up with yeah. reality and what oh, should actually humble. happen. Oh, my bad. Okay. Yeah, they don't line up with how <laughs> the world really works. You yeah. know what I'm trying to say to you? So, so yeah, female empowerment... Is, this is going to sound crazy. Sexual liberation and female empowerment is necessary because you shouldn't feel like you don't have control over your own life. However, now that you have control over your life, there's still consequences that exist regardless, period. Feel me? So, hey, women, no, I understand the sleep whole with whatever. Part. You have the opportunity to sleep with whoever you want to, but just know now that if you sleep with a whole lot of people, there's a chance that you'll get sick or disease, pregnant, or dudes are just not going to want to take you seriously because you slept with mad dudes. But it's just still your choice. You feel what I'm trying to yeah. say? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. we still have to understand that there's a bias against, like, you know, Women that are like free. sexually. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's a bias. I wouldn't say it's a bias. I mean, that's one way to look at it. Personally, I wouldn't say it's a bias. I would say that there's just certain things that are that are the way they are. No matter what society tells us, yeah. they're the way that they are. You as a woman, I, I think, I feel like you're free and open and modern and, and, and free thinking. So you do whatever you feel like you want to do. I'm pretty sure you don't sleep with a whole bunch of dudes. No. Why is that? You can. Um, she just chooses. because, like, um, I mean, everybody values themselves in a different way, but I feel like Good point. if I'm here sleeping with a whole bunch of guys, I'm spreading myself thin. So then okay. I don't have that much to give because I've given, give here, give there, give there, give Good there. Good point. Good point. What am I going to eventually have to give to, like, my husband mm. or there my partner that I actually want to give them my 100% me? Yeah. I might give them the 100% me at the moment, but... but in the past, I spread myself thin 10% and 5%. And, yeah. and then in the long run, and it ends up five. draining out of what I'm giving him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I like, agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. But so, so what I was saying before comes back to it. Yeah, it does. It's fire that you have all the choices now. That's fire. You deserved that. That's not fair that we took the choices away from you. Right? I agree. All the opportunities should be yours. But the issue is that you're still going to have consequences for those those opportunities. So you still have to make good decisions. That's the problem. Like, you want to do away with the the uh, the uh, the unfairness, the inequality in terms of, like, choices and opportunities, and then want to, you want to do away with that and also do away with the consequences of taking those opportunities. The, the consequences are remaining. They're not going away. People, um, a man doesn't want a woman for his wife, me personally, that I think, mm -hmm. that's slept right. with multiple like m massive amounts of dudes five five dudes but right. guys too but I think that I think that guys doesn't too. work like that I think as a woman it does. Do you look I'm for, telling you it does for like me. I've curved guys cause it's like ew you've dealt with like yeah. every yeah. all those girls what makes you think mm -hmm. that I'm gonna I'm fall that in response. that same category of all those girls you dealt with the women that you dealt with go to show the kind of guy that you are what if, what's, so what if a dude okay Okay, let me walk, walk you on this path. This dude has had sex with massive amounts of women. All of the women that he's had sex with are like eight, nine, tens. Woo! They're boy, all like bads, baddies. That, That's going to turn you away from him? No, it's not going to turn me away from him. He dealt with a lot of women, so would I take him seriously? Probably not. But he's trying to take you seriously. Like, you're, you're attracted to him. You have good vibe. He just happened okay, to sleep I don't with care what massive amounts of women. They, but they're all bad. You can look, his track record is impeccable. I'm be like, oh my god, you have an imp impeccable track yeah. record. Does that whatever. turn you off? Like you're done with him? I'm no, I'm not it. done. Well, mostly it's about personality and shit for me. So okay. that's most importantly. And then I'm probably gonna ask like, yo, why you dealt with that many girls? Like, you know, I mean, I'm, they, I'm a know, hot to nigga. To me, sex is fun. Like, I, it was open. They 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 were attractive. I'm attracted to them. Yeah. We had fun. Good looking so, guy. Damn, but you had that much fun? Yeah, yeah. a lot of fun. You had, so. But now I'm serious. 30 bitches worth of fun. Yeah, baby. Had a more than 30 bitches, but now I'm, being, now I'm being serious. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to settle down. I'm trying to settle down now. But you see how, when it comes to having sex, and it's a, it's a double standard, yes. It might be an unfair double standard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe. But it's the way the world works. It's just how it is. It's true. It's just a truthful thing. The more sex, the more sexual partners a man has, 
it gives him more value in terms of in terms of he's more experienced. He obviously knows how to deal with women because most yeah. men don't know how to deal with women. But the more sexual partners a woman has, it's like <laughs> wow, she is really easy. She's She's giving this access, which is supposed to be a special thing, to so many men. Is she easy, though? You know what I mean? Yeah. My ex once told me that it was okay for a guy to sleep with whatever amount of women and not okay for women to to not sleep with whatever amount of men because men have an Audi and women have an innie. What? I mean, that's a. I very, was like, what? That's an oversimplified way of yeah. saying it, but he yeah, I mean, I guess he's, he's onto something. To he me. was like, he's onto I don't need something. to. He was like, I don't need that correctly. to open myself up. All I have to do is pull my pants down. As wow. a woman, you have to pull your pants down and open yourself up and allow that inside of you. Yeah. 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 Which makes sense, but it's like it's a little bit more to. It. I feel like you guys. I feel like you guys. It's like it's a double standard, but I feel like. There's benefits that come along with it. I feel like sex is way more fire for y'all. Like, good sex? Like, if sex is good, it's I think you are them. enjoying it way more than we're enjoying it. Because we get the enjoyment, and we're out of there two, three minutes, boom. Same. But that means you're enjoying it more because no, 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 you're in We're just out. getting to it. We're getting into it. But you, I feel good like point. sex is a different experience for females than it is for men. Because we're just, uh, 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 get to it. Or, you know, get to it. However take you do, however take you do your, your time, thing. Fellas, take your time. Hey, sometimes they don't want you to take your time. You f- learn your woman, learn Man, yourself. You, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, right, um, right, you're right. You know, so so heavy on the learn your woman and yourself too. Because learn, maybe you learn your woman. You hear me? Okay. That's a fact. Woman. Learn your woman and learn yourself too. Oh, si no, so you gotta know yourself first, guys. Oh, si yeah. no te la um, you gotta know yourself so si no te la you know what you want. I feel like women, sex is like I feel like it just I, I don't know how to explain it. I think it's just more magnitude to sex. Of course. I feel like they feel way connection. more shit than we feel when it comes to Even sex. if it's a one night stand, it's still a connection. I mean, because they're they're more emotional. Okay. That's not true. Women are not what? What's not what's not true? Large. I had one true. um one what is it called? What do you say? Orgasm? No. What? <laughs> you said you had one. <laughs> nah, we need multiple. One um one night stand. I've had okay. one one night stand in my yeah. life. Only I, one? Yeah. At yeah. this age, day and age? There has to like, be a connection. N- what? Like so. <laughs> Okay. Yo, nowadays over the age of Anyways. over the age of thirty, let's say thirty three, if a woman's not having sex with you within the first two or three dates, she's not interested in you. You're wasting your time. That's not true. That's true. It's true, guys. My Don't listen ex to them. Of five it's years, true. I went on dates with him and never had sex with him for eight the, and a half months. The exception wow. doesn't prove the rule, guys. Don't ever do that. That's a that you're killing yourself if you do that. You're wasting wild time. You're wasting your time, your money, and your energy. That's Don't a lot of ever time. do that. That's a lot of if time. If a girl likes you and you like her back, if a woman likes you and you like her back, it shouldn't be hard. You shouldn't be jumping through hoops. Go ahead. All the one night stand thing. Yeah. And after that, it happened, and I was like, oh my God, never again. And I was like, no connection. After that, oh my God, oh my God, you're such a fucking bitch. You don't even call me. Yeah. You don't even care to know about no, my life. Loco. Da, da, da. Bruh, no, it loco. was the one I stand. Like, I don't get yeah, it. No, like, a lot of, a lot he obviously of, didn't play by those rules. It was giving, like, it was, no, it was giving, like, I'm the guy, he's the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know like, what's crazy? A lot, I, I was like, bro, it's a one night stand. Like, what happened? Man, like, it was a baddie for him. You know what I mean? He got, he got like, you. Uh, I'm like, bro. He like, felt lucky. He was a like, damn. I rolled the dice. I hit. Good times. Like, nah. You know what I think is happening, Kay? And <laughs> you, listen, if you agree with me, yeah. let me know. Women are the new men. Yeah, I think yeah. that women have become way more masculine. Mm. And they've yeah, embraced Monica. that. And they've wow. embraced that, right? Yeah. But then. You know, there can't be two masculine people. Like, it's going to backfire. There's always going to be, someone has to, someone has to... Dominate. Yeah, someone has to dominate, so someone has to defer. Okay. Someone has to submit. Someone Somebody has to has fall to back. Compromise. So if you're the masculine one, right, then the man has to fall back a little bit because you're t- assuming the dominant role, but you're also not attracted to feminine men. Okay. So where, so what? There can't be two masculine. So what happens then? I feel like only... We're butting the, heads. You feel only me? the women yeah. that have have had to become masculine have became masculine okay in certain departments of their life yeah. like, can you elaborate like me personally um I like to take control of like where we go for like dates and stuff like that or whatever like I don't like the surprise factor no more cause like niggas just disappoint me so it's like you know what I'ma plan this I got this so and I'm that's actually a benefit for you cause now it's like oh that was a horrible date never again I'm making sure yeah. that it is good. 
See, but then see. So I'm giving you the upper hand, do you submit, which I shouldn't. Do you, honestly, I shouldn't. Do you submit to your man? I'm I'm extremely submissive, uh-huh. but I I feel like I'm only like that because I'm extremely dominant and I control. I like to have control over everything. Okay. It might take me a little bit to think about it, okay. but I'm going to know yet. That sounds all well and good. And I respect your opinion because it's mm. yours. <laughs> but this is okay. bullshit. Don't ever listen to this. This is bullshit. Uh, if your woman is making the decisions, like on where to go to eat, whatever, it's only a matter of time, guys. Yeah. It's only a matter of time. I mean, you're not you're gonna, gonna be you're not gonna be you're not gonna be together for long. You're gonna be like, what you want to eat? You're gonna be like, what you want to eat? You're not gonna be together for long, man. You have to make decisions. You have to take charge. You have to take control because a woman wants to submit to you, bro. If wow. she's not submitting okay. to you, you're having an issue already. You got to work through that. You see, I don't know. Like, to me personally, I feel like like how you said earlier, like someone has to submit, someone has to like compromise, someone has to whatever, like take the less roller. Two people can't drive the car, bro. You see, but if yes, you, you can, instead you of having one person, over, if you, you have two switch. people, one person drives at a time, yo. One person can drive the car. You can't have two presidents, bro. But you have a president of vice, so that's <laughs> vice president, aka shut, shut up and sit down. Not really. Not we can talk about meetings behind you. Behind closed doors, we have meetings. When serious shit is happening, please shut up, because we've already discussed this. I got this. Yeah, but that's different. That's how it works. That's a different arrangement. But if you really take two people. And you actually allow both of them to meet themselves in a certain way where they both compromise, not just one person always in charge and move around, but it's two people that can do it together. It's way more powerful than just one person at the top and the other person. Dictating. See, but, yeah, but, one yeah. dictating no, I feel like one. you should focus more on having two people compromising for one single goal instead of having a play role of one person and then the other person is just second hand. I'm rejecting the way you're describing what I'm saying. I reject. I'm not, I reject I'm your. You I, re- what I'm I reject he's your characterization of yeah. my shit. So, not, so what I'm saying is, just because there's a leader doesn't mean y'all both don't communicate and come to decisions together. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean none of that. So, so, so you're, 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 that. you're explaining it who, as an extreme. Who made you the leader? No, I'm not saying an extreme. No, we're I'm talking not, about my. What would be my? I just rather have two. So you're automatically the leader. I mean, in my relationship, I would be the leader of the relationship. I am. I am a male. <laughs> I'd be the man I'd be the masculine aspect Of the relationship And she'd yeah. be the feminine So I would okay. be leading The relationship That's just okay. how I live exchange. Will do you have anything Crump Crump How do you feel about Any mm-hmm. of this You've been eerily <coughs> Quiet You haven't said anything been, Can I get some been, of your input sir Please He's just, just analyzing. analyzing Yeah, yeah no, nah, I agree I think that Like I You don't have two quarterbacks Playing at one time Like okay. you don't have Two leaders don't. That doesn't. It, no, nothing. Nothing runs on, uh, on with two uh, two heads. That doesn't mean you don't make decisions together. It's just you know, like that one person, person has one person announces the, the decisions. Like okay, Whenever. I mean, for me, nobody, no, I feel uh, like okay. Hypothetical relationship. I'm yeah. in a relationship with a woman. Right? Okay, we're in a relationship. Hypothetical. We're, I'm giving a hypothetical situation. <laughs> okay, yeah. We're in a relationship, right? You're mad good with money, right? Yeah, you're pretty much going to run the finances in the crib. But you're telling me that I'm going to run the finances. So I'm not still- telling you. I think we've come to a decision. You're mad good at finances. Yeah, you're in charge of that. Because I'm the man. That's what makes me the leader. No. Okay. Yeah, Wait, that's that- finances. That's one yeah. aspect of our relationship. Yeah. yeah. Finance. The funds. It's like I'm a man. What are you doing to be a leader? I'm, I'm, pro- I'm protecting. I'm providing. Okay. I'm yeah, I'm your so, what, 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 I feel Why like would you be varies, in a relationship with honestly, a woman? I also feel like this varies in race. This varies she in race. She could or couldn't have a job. Because in a Spanish if she's household. A, if she's a breadwinner. Talk about it. Yeah, I can still be. Of course I'm still the leader just because she's the bread. I mean, I probably I wouldn't probably get myself into that situation. Because that's going to be a tough one, guys. That's going to be a case. That's an exceptional. That's exceptional cases. It, it's possible. But it's highly improbable. Once women get to a certain money level, bro. We're dead. Hmm. So just okay. get over that level. That's okay. the way to keep it. Uh, that's it. <clears throat> what, okay. Are you listening to me? Let me let me go. I hear your question. <laughs> Some women are better at organizing and doing finances. That's just something that they're good at. Managing okay. money. Managing yeah. money in terms mm-hmm. of this is how much we're getting in. Here's where this is or going. Here's where this is going. Bills on time. And paying the bills on time. Remembering when the bills are due. Women are better at organizational tasks usually. 
So if I'm in a relationship with a woman, why am I doing all the organiza- organizational shit that she's mad nice at it? But how about if she's not? Then, then I'll have to do it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not I saying you gotta do it because you're a woman. Okay. It varies like, in race. Because I know in my household and most Spanish households, the mother runs the whole show. Like, she I mean, runs the, the house. The woman, ru- you're supposed... Women you're supposed, supposed to, to run the house. You're That's your shit. To take care of the you're house. supposed to. Like you're coming from good culture. No, That's but like, like good culture. Like you're coming everything. From. Like, like. Go, well, go. that's case by case. Maybe if your yeah. your dad doesn't want to do money, he's not. That's not his shit. Then I guess some nigg- some dudes are good with money, and they'll do the money. I got the money. Bring the money. Put it here. I got it. What you know what I mean? Do DIY in your house, like fix up shit, shit breaks. Or, 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 um, mom. my dad. See, that's a but tra- that's my a mom would send him to do it. It's a trade off. Like, uh, fix that, and then shit, he'll go and be like, okay, yeah. and then like you know. See, they have an agreement. You see, it, mm. it works. It's a balance. Like, that's how yeah. it works. That's how it's supposed to work. So, like, it's not... Now, nobody... me, like, narrowing down from my mom and my dad, I'm the DIY person at home. Okay. Like, I'm the one that plasters. I'm the one that does electrical work and shit like that. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure if you... If you're man... I don't know. See, I don't oh, even... No. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was he just wouldn't... about to bring this... No, he literally sat there the whole time and, like, watched me do all this. So if you're okay with that... And that shit that, got me so that's... mad. No, it got me mad. Because I was just like... Yeah. How did I install a whole I mean, chandelier, should, rewire this shit and like, all yeah. this? Yeah. And... He should be doing that for you're you. You're sitting there... Is that he doesn't. He doesn't know how to do it, Well, so... then he should be getting it done for you. YouTube you shouldn't have to do it. If it's regular shit, yeah, you can YouTube and figure nah, that out. Got, he, no, but he asked, Well, he got what he. Well, then did he make? Did he, he make? Did the he right make sure you had dinner it. that night? Did he make but sure you, you know good? how to do that now? Did you have yeah, to cook? he made sure I was good. He made you exactly. ate and you got your little. But drink it's just or whatever like, you oh, you're a you're a man. Like, know how to use a fucking drill gun or how to nail a, we, something in the wall or you know, like what the fuck. Yeah, and even if you don't know how to do it, pay for it. Pay for it to get done. No, nah, man, I don't like. I'd rather you pay to learn how to do it than pay for it to get nah, done. Nah, I, I think you'd rather it get done. That's whatever she said. That's cool. But if you're paying to, for it to get done and it gets done, that's good mm-hmm. enough. Promise you, brothers. To mount on TV, yes, but to put a fucking frame on the wall and put a screw, come on. Yeah. Learn, bro. And I feel like that's just basic, you know, bettering yourself things that you need to know how to do. Yeah. Basic things around the house for yourself. Not even for a like woman. God Domestic forbid, it's like zombie apocalypse. Yourself. You don't even know how to do nothing. Like you can't even board up the shit. Like we gonna die. Like then I feel like that's the kind of man that you probably. You know what I mean? Listen, let me not even talk about any of that situation. Mm-hmm. But that's not the it's kind true, of. It's true, that's not the kind of dude for that me, you really want. That I really need. Yes. Because I don't need you. Obviously, I'm doing the. The shit that the you shouldn't stuff, have to do. Yeah. You should be worried about looking pretty, and, and working out and making sure dinner's getting cooked. No. Or no. Delivered, or no, that's such like an care old of. school. So what role. are you doing? So what are you doing? Honestly, I just, I just I just signed up to trapeze school yesterday. But if you know how to cook better than him, why wouldn't you take the lead with the cooking? Why at least get or, or at least like get the cook. cooking done. But are you better at cooking? So than yeah, I am so, better. Okay, so how are we eating? What you mean how are we eating? You better get on. Okay, hold on. We're in a relationship, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. You don't like to cook, right? So how are we eating? I'm I'm working. How are we eating? If you're working, you're making money. If you're making money, I'm making a lot of money. Food. That's why you you know you're in the house. You could you you have access to all these resources and all this money. How what are we eating tonight? Is um, that also my responsibility to figure out what no, we're eating? No, I will order. I will order if you want. So you will always order. want to order because it's also your money that we're spending too. Because you know we're together. No, that's fine. That's fine. So you're good with just spending all our money on food, um, on getting food prepared for us. I mean, I wouldn't spend all our money on food, and if it's going to food, then I guess we just gotta work harder. Not, not not all our money. I'm saying like large amounts of money. Yeah, of course, yeah it's a big, it's like, way large. more yeah. than we, you're supposed to. Like, the budget's getting high. If, we look if, at the number if, at the if, if the we went to the supermarket, if we went to the supermarket, <coughs> the food budget would be fifteen percent. Since yeah. we're ordering out, it's yeah. like triple that. Yeah, forty percent. Forty percent, maybe more. Um, I do like to cook sometimes, yeah. but I'll, I'll do Don't that. You see, I, I feel Maybe. like you would be more relaxed. You'd have more free time, money to play with. I think you would, it'd be easy to wake up the day and the whole day really all you got to, well, besides, you know, other things you got to do. Because so, because relationships are not easy. They're, they're agreements. Yes. They're trade-offs. It's uh-huh. like a contract. We're working together for ultimate goal. Like, uh, you know, we have. Yeah. But honestly, the interest. way I see my. You ever see like those families that they're like it's like them and the three kids at like mm-hmm. Philippe's or some shit? Mm-hmm. 
Or you want to be one of that's, those? Yeah. But then you would have to set like, that up. Like, we'll dine out, like, maybe, like, three. But would you set that up? Make sure that's set up. That, that oh, you no, can yeah, take yeah. care of that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not, it's, yeah. But dinner cooks would probably be, be better to save money. Maybe, like, twice a week, cook in the house, and then, like, three out of the house. Whatever works best for our finances. Yeah. What I don't want to be a normal, like, traditional family. Okay. Whereas, like, all we do is man? school, go home, uh, and then over and over and over. No. Yeah, I think a, she's clearly saying she doesn't want a normal traditional No, man. I don't. Clearly. It's kind of routine. So, yeah. so, so you don't mind that he it. doesn't know how to put up uh, pictures and she stuff She said like that. that. It's a trade-off. Preferably, if God was like, yo, here, build a nigga, and I, and I build him, I would be like, check, uh, you know, handy. Handyman check. But if not, it's like, okay, I know how to do it myself. Or Just he has the funds to get, it get done. the shebangle done. No. So, Three options. So okay, okay. So you can build a nigga. You get five characteristics. What are the five characteristics? Perfect nigga. Handyman one. No, I want to hear what she says. Like, um, this is the this is the nigga that you this, this is the dude this is the dude that you want. Heavy on the common sense. Common sense. So because if you have common sense, you don't need to know how to put the nail up. You're gonna have common sense. You're gonna go on YouTube. You're gonna learn. Yeah. You're gonna go to Home Depot, get the shit, and you're gonna do it. Okay. Gonna, common, common sense. sense. Common sense. Um, a sense of like business or like um like just a sense of, of business in a way that you know how to make money out of anything. Okay. You know motivated. what I mean? Like you know how you have friends that they, <clears throat> Huh? Motivated business acumen. Yeah. Yeah. Business mindset. Like business, business mind- oriented or whatever yeah. you wanna call it. Um uh, on top of like hygiene. Because clean. that's a big one. Gotta be clean. Sadly, that's a big one. Mm-hmm. Um, Limpiense las bolas. Gotta be clean. Uh, what's the third one? Um, you got two more. You got what was the more. first three? Um, business, business. Common sense. Common sense. Funny. 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 funny yeah. Sense of humor. Sense yeah. of humor. And then the third. The last one. The last one. Um, romantic. Romantic. Romantico. Mm-hmm. So guys, ah, so guys, by the roads. Got it. Okay. So what? so that we was wanna, bullshit. We want some I mean, romance. but common sense is if you have a wife, okay. that was bullshit. you're supposed to be fucking That's bullshit. What who was bullshit me? Yeah, what you're saying is bullshit. So what no, you it's not. Let me tell you, let me tell you what women are really looking for. Money. Okay. That's Your money, how much oriented. money? Okay, you know, that's, that's, oh, so that's oh, so that was a nice way of saying it. So I'm saying I could be business no, oriented. A- I can have a business mind and not have any money yet, not get any connections, not made it yet. I have no money. I make thirty thousand dollars a year, but I have a no, but great like, business mind. But like, but like actually business oriented. No, no, no. Like no. So money. So done. money. So money. Money, baby. Money. Money. Looks. Of course. No, not. I didn't say looks. You didn't. That's what I'm saying. You were this bullshit. No, what you're saying. I think so you're capping. That's what I'm saying. No, cap. no, for no, real. No cap. No. I really Some don't sort have of looks, guys. Something can't be overweight. Well, you can be short, then. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure short can. Not be shorter than me. No, no, no. I'm saying shorter than you. Oh no. Get get in the gym. I mean, right? I'm five five, so my height five, is five. short. Yeah. Get in the gym. Work out. Get your shit as best as you can. Get it That's together. That's also not true. I like guys with a little stomach. I like sewing a rubber on. Get it as good as you can. Right? <laughs> She's an exception. That's not <laughs> That's not the rule. That's not how it works. Don't let her fool you. It's a one-time deal. Here. So money, uh, attractiveness, right? Confidence, right? She could have called it confidence humor. Confidence is a good one. That's she could have called him humor or whatever it is. It's confidence. Funny, funny. It's confidence. Um... Yeah, and it's the way you the way you carry yourself, so your, your demeanor or whatever. That's what they. That's what they're looking for. It's heavy on the money. It's and the belly's important. okay. Don't one worry. One the belly's one. okay. We call it the money belly. Not the huge belly though. That's out of control. It nah, can't like, be like that much. It's a little like, something. A little something. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Belly, the best belly. Work out as much as you can. Work out as much as you bellies. can. No, it's not that bad. It's okay. It's a money belly. Usually, when yeah. you're when you're making a lot of money, you eating good. That's when you get that little belly. That you little know? belly, yeah, eating good belly. Or maybe it's going a, out to eat. Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm riding everywhere. I don't got no time to hit no gym. Be like diablo, tu si está fuerte. Tienes comiendo bien, mami. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, you know. Mm-mm. Steak, you feel me? Oh, in, in English is like like when you gain weight, they be like, wow, you strong, you doing good. But it's like they associate like. Putting on weight I mean, with doing good yeah. in life because you're eating good, yeah, you're chilling. Yeah, but America fucked that up because everybody's fat. 
Yeah, definitely. So it's not here. even a thing no more. That could mean that just means you have bad self no self control in America. It, it doesn't mean you're eating yeah. good. It just means that you love Doritos. Oh, oh shit. it's gone, gone now. Didn't catch it and just made a crazy throw. Bleak, you are <laughs> off your game today. Yeah, yo, that shit. Should play for the head. Jets. I don't know how it did that. Like, Should play for the fucking Jets. What the hell was that? I don't know how it did that. What is wrong with you, bro? Everything all right? Bro, you want to talk about that? it? Yo, I have no idea how that got Let's talk about it. You want to talk about it? It's like the... <laughs> Yo, yeah, like it was supposed to... Damn, my bad. Okay, you have any questions for us? I have so many uh, things I want to talk about. Wow. Now that you're here, like this relationship shit we've been talking about so, so far, it's been funny to leave. Because Why? you're saying the right things that you're supposed to say, but you're not saying the real things. Well, that is And this the is the blood thing. exchange. That is the real thing. We got to keep it real. Keep I it lost real, my man. taste Come in on. looks like a long time ago when I ended up falling in love with the guy that was the complete opposite of, of what everything. was my type. Estaba bueno. Pero el tipo estaba bueno. The one that you were weren't taking the poops in the back in the <laughs> you would go outside. <laughs> is that the is that the guy? He had money. We didn't you do much using with the bathroom it. In the crib? I mean, huh? Is that the guy that you weren't using the bathroom in the crib around? Oh uh, no. Okay. 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 <laughs> Remember we had that we were talking about the poops. Yeah, on the yeah, yeah. yeah. Poop. You're like, yeah. Damn. No, nah, but and then that's what I also meant to say. In that case, it was never like nobody was ever the leader. We just met each other 70-30 or 60-40 or in in different aspects in life. So like, let's say for example, we'll go out to eat. He'll pick the restaurant. He was really good at picking the restaurant. Mm -hmm. But I'm the one that did the talking with the ordering the waiter and thing, which I think most girls do. Mm -hmm. He'd be like, he said no pickles. So whatever. So like we used to pick each other's slack up where nobody was the leader. We were just like in different departments of things. He'll have 60, I'll have 40. Yeah. Then this thing, it will be 70, 30, okay. then like 20, 80. But we were always like, we Helping met each, each other. other. How, each how other. did that relationship work out? Um, it ended up, not working on Yeah, because somebody has to be the leader. You can't be both the leader. That's what. Oh, no. That's how it works I out, know, guys. I'm telling no, you, it, just, no, it has no. to be a leader <laughs> and a team. No. Like, it can't be both the leader. No, we can make no, decisions no, no, together no. in the boardroom, but there's one leader. There's one face. Who takes the brunt nah, and takes the no. bad and the good. Yeah, it's okay. It's, there's positives and, and negatives to everything. There's I pros mean, and cons and there's trade offs. It's, this whole thing is about an, it's an agreement. You know what I mean? Agree. What you lack in, I pick up. Well, somebody has to be the face of this. What is it? Oh, compromise. And I'm protecting you by being the face, too. It's also yeah. protection. Like, yeah. it's not even, like, a People disrespectful all, thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking the hits. If you fuck up, it's me. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, it's still we. They, they talking it's about we, the family. It's I'm going to handle You're it. just the representative. Yeah, but man. at the end of the day, see, we the take problem. the loss as a team. Yeah. But in the public, I'm the Chuck one that bears up. the brunt of it. No. Yeah. If, if, the, if something goes wrong with the family, that's the, like, what is he doing? What is he doing over there? But then my family is like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you with him? Yeah, man. You know? Yeah. It's the man takes the brunt of it. That. Look at this piece of shit, nigga. Like, that's what they're saying. Look at this but, piece of shit, dude. But my family got yell at me because I picked the piece of shit. You feel me? I picked Yeah, I mean, the... that's your family. But the outside looking in is like, what is he doing to her? Why is he leading them into the garbage like this? And it could be you. And it'd be like, and she's so stupid. She going with him. But fuck it. It's like, yeah. I like you, Kay. I like you. You got something to say. You got something to say. Uh, so do you think um, you can have a healthy relationship with a woman as the leader? Yeah. Should women lead relationships? Should women re lead relationships? I feel like we do <laughs> most of the time. And then that's why most of us are not married, right? Um, hmm. Who's most? Do you think that m women are ready to lead relationships? And it's actually, do you think it's working when women re lead relationships? It does work, but then it becomes a burden because then you're carrying the relationship, you feel me? And I feel like you're going against your nature to carry the relationship. You don't like that. It's like you want to do it, but then when you do it, you realize, hey, wait a minute, this is whack. Why am I doing this? Wait a minute, didn't you want to do it? Which one yeah, is it? Okay. You want both. It's a good lesson. You want the power. True. It's the power. You want the power of a man, but then you want a man to be a man and be powerful. You can't have both. You have to pick which one. You want the powerful man or you want to be the powerful one? Yeah, you got it. Women don't realize that that the fact that's that the problem. The I mean, I, I understand. Women don't I really. Understand what you mean. Women don't realize that just because a guy is mad powerful outside, in front of everybody else, she has the power over him in the crib, and like, 
they've normally been super cool with it. Like, yeah, and usually the man is the like, head, or whatever right. they say. But the woman is the fucking neck and the controlling the yeah. head. Yeah, like you need the woman. Do whatever you want outside. But when you come to the crib, you know who runs this shit. Yeah, it's yeah. your house. You run. You you you, you, <laughs> play, you decorated yeah, it. I, I let you, you stock I, it. Yeah. You definitely decorate. Choose what gets cooked in the crib. What yeah. looks. In the I just crib, say yep. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, you decorate. run shit. So yeah. it's just a it's just a formality. The man is in charge. I'm the bigger, stronger. If something if somebody breaks in the crib, we're we laid up in the bed, I'm not gonna be like, yo, baby. Go ahead on that. <laughs> it's your turn. He says it's your yeah. turn. It's your turn. I did I'm it last dead. time. Nah, I feel we're you. equals. So yeah, I did it last time. Nah, it's true, it's true. Yeah, you want me to go down there and whoop some ass. So, you know, make sure that salmon is ready when I come up. I off mean, work. but you're not supposed to go down by yourself either. Like, yeah, the you, dog. Get the, you get on the phone and I Get the ratty from the yeah. or under the joint, and I go downstairs, and you're on the phone, baby. You, you are my guy. No, before we go downstairs, I call the cops, and then we go downstairs. No, no, no you're, you're not, not going, going downstairs. downstairs. What are you? Why are you That's going downstairs? Yeah, what? Why are you going downstairs? There's no reason yeah, for you to go downstairs. There's no reason for you to go downstairs. You're you. Listen, how about you, need you getting to stop, stop dealing with. You need to stay upstairs kids. with the stop kids. Stop dealing with those guys, Kay. Stop it. Oh, you stay upstairs. Where are you with coming downstairs for? You gotta for? stay upstairs with the so kids. So then they could kill my nigga, and then I'm gonna be tight when I could have did something. Oh, so you wanna be dead with me? Pull up, let's be dead. He's not about to Pull kill up. both of dead us. Dead party, kill party. Pull up, kill party. let's get dead. He's not about to kill both of us. Nah, I yeah, because I'm gonna go shot. downstairs and now you're gonna be downstairs. Uh, 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 uh. If he kills me, or you can if he call kills me, you don't think he's killing you? If he kills me, you think he's not killing you? Stay alive and keep the legacy going. You had my, you have my seeds. Live, live, live. Please take care of this. If you call the authorities, by the time, even if he does kill me, cops should be on his way. This nigga be scared. He never come upstairs and kill you and the kids. He's not gonna be worried about that. He's gonna get out of there. He's gonna kill me and get out of there. You're gonna safe in the closet. It, it, with the kids. What, what I was going for was like more jumped, like. like oh, if I'm jumped in the street. You fighting and I'll I'll stab right here. You know, give you a little benefit. As jumped a in the street. Mm, that's tough. I kind of don't even want my girl fighting at all. Even wait, 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 No, no, no. I don't mean jump like that. I mean I like in the crib, that, like. Though. You broke in. All right, you gonna fight? I'm gonna go to the kitchen, grab a knife. Cha cha. What if he has the? What if he's he's coming out with the? Oh. Um, yeah, I'm like, yeah. Stay in the closet, and call the police, and be quiet. I'm sitting here naked behind the shots, and you come running out, not understanding what you get. Yeah, what's the point oh, of that? That's true, yeah. You know what I mean? You don't even know what's going on. Stay your ass upstairs, shorty. Stop mm. playing, Kay. Why you coming? Yeah, what you coming you out? You what you know? Taekwondo or some shit? Yeah, please stay upstairs. Are you super woman? These hands. Yeah, please. please stay I say upstairs. nothing but these. You know, niggerati. <laughs> oh, let me ask you a question. If no, you, that is just not stay upstairs right. And heal me. That is not right. When I come back upstairs, I need to. I need you to heal me. You know what I mean? I can't have you beat up also. Okay, let me ask so, you a question. I, I, I always want to, to ask a female this on I camera. Need you to help me. You're with your man. Beautiful uh -huh. evening. Ooh. Y'all walking down the street. Roses. It's hey. looking good. You had a good dinner. Hey. Right? You feeling good. The endorphins is in the Ooh. air. It's a beautiful, Ooh, lamb nice. Chops. Uh, the, mm. uh, the, the endorphins, Mashed potatoes, right? mac you and me? cheese. You see what I was doing over there? You know what I mean? Sounded like I knew so, right? Oh, get Sounded it. like I knew so. Uh. Word of the day. Nah. <laughs> counterproductive. Don't be counterproductive. Don't be. Um, feeling good. You can smell the fragrant roses Ooh. in the air. You know? Uh. Right? And you're walking by a, a nice park. Ooh. And some dude walks by and goes, damn, your shorty got a fat ass and slaps your ass. I get him, nigga. So you look at your nigga, of course, and you're like, get him, what nigga. the fuck? Get him. And he goes over Honestly, there. Honestly, I wouldn't look at my nigga. You run The first after. reaction would just be a... For the sense of the scenario, you can say what you want. Would you really oh, okay, that. For okay. the scenario... You know, you look at your nigga like, what the fuck? And I he's like, he goes over there to whoop his ass, whoop, right? Whoop, right? Oh, my God. Right? No, no, no. And gets his what ass you, oh, dude, you beat. Expect, Hold on. And gets his ass beat. Oh, no. That I'm dude not getting beat up, bro. beats the brakes off of him. Damn. Like, he Molly gets his Watson. ass whooped. Like, he looking Damn. sloppy and, like, Larry Holmes, gets nigga. Gets back up, drops again. Gets back like, he's up. getting drunk. <laughs> like, he's woken up, like, my, my, like my. drunk, like, punch drunk, like, stumbling all over the place. Damn, bro. Can that relationship continue? Um, uh oh, oh, I mean, it can. I'm gonna look at the nigga different after that, and it probably won't last that long. Damn, man. Like, what if that was my that was damn. she will never look at you the same again? Don't get your ass whooped in front of your girl. Don't ever get your ass whooped in front of your girl. Do you expect carry the tool with you? So carry the tool. Okay, do you expect them to fight? Um, the right thing to do is to fight. She was gonna say some insane shit like she was gonna fight. 
I promise you. I mean, subconsciously, that's just a dude what's gonna happen. A, you're with your man, and a dude slaps your ass. What are you gonna do? You think that I'm gonna be like, babe? <sighs> subconsciously, you're just gonna turn around and just like you know. But you're gonna say like, what the fuck? Are you gonna it. approach him? Um. He just Prob- slapped your ass, so you know he don't give a probably, fuck. Probably, probably. I'm not gonna hold you. Don't you don't give a fuck. He just slapped. He just slapped your ass, so you know you don't give. He don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm. I'm probably gonna. Be like, yo, that's happened to me at work. I feel like the smartest thing to do in that situation. That's literally Talk happened about to me it. at work. Whoa, 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 Talk whoa, whoa, about whoa, whoa, whoa. it. What? It's crazy. That has happened to me at you work. You got them out of there? Yeah. Okay. Like I'm mid air. No, like, no bueno, no bueno. And like, oh, I forgot. it was like, and I'll and I'll literally yeah. put the bottles down with sparkler in my hand on some. Yo, like straight yeah, sparkler to, to the him face. And the security get them out of there. Yeah, but no, yeah. but before I told security, I'm doing my own yeah. thing first, and then I'm like, okay, damage control in the moment. Yes. Whoa, whoa. Don't touch me. But then sometimes you don't even know, right? Oh, no. But everybody in the radius will get it. Okay. Like, anybody, like... you condone this bullshit. <laughs> like, so yeah, fuck out of here. I don't know who did it. But everybody getting slapped. Yeah, like... Or everybody since nobody knows, all right, everybody's getting kicked out. The whole section. And I'm keeping your money. Mm, mm. And I'm reselling your bottles. Because sexual harassment is wrong, guys. Don't do it. Don't sexually harass. Consent, yeah, boys. consent boys. Consent boys. You always ask for consent. Yeah, you consent. give me security what? vibes. K, he K, gives me consent. security consent. vibes. Okay, can I ask you a question? What's your thoughts on women proposing to men? Yo, that is the worst thing ever. Talk about it. Why? Don't you, aren't you in charge and powerful? You want to pick your man and marry him. And yeah. marry him. I mean, I... I if it does what, that you, that's what, that if that's what a woman wants to do, no, no, but you were just saying that cool. you want Me the power. Me personally, no. But you, you said no. earlier you want the power. No. So why won't you pick your man and marry him? It's a meal, coño. Take him. Scoop your man up. And I did pick you. I'm, my, with, I'm with you now. Do your thing. How do you approach a man then? Let me tell. Let me find that out. My favorite line is "Give me your phone." Hey, I like that. I thought I just be I'll going be up to niggas like, "Give me your phone." And they be like so confused and they just literally hand yeah, me Yeah, I'll be mad like, ass. Do, 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 do. I put my number and I'll be like, and you better call me. Fire. And then just, then they do. I like that approach. That's actually one. fucking genius. Yeah. I like that approach. <laughs> one. That wouldn't work for any of us. No, no, it wouldn't. Because if I did that, I, would, I would be in Rikers. Just like, yo, what the fuck? Like, what makes her think or that? Or Bergen. I'd be in Bergen or Rikers right now if I did that. For sure. If I said to a woman, give me your phone, you better fucking call me. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> to be honest <laughs> you might get away with it, bro. I'm telling you, some girls like that. Oh my god, some man! Girls might like that. I mean, women like that. Women like aggressiveness, but in this day and age, you can't risk it. Can't girls, risk that kind of aggressiveness. Like that, can't say, fine. "Give me your phone." Can't do that. Woman can get that off. She, you know. You could be like, "Let me see your phone." Here's my number. That's not gonna work. Let me see your phone, and they're gonna be like, "If I came up to you in the street and said, let me see your phone.'" Um, you be like, get the fuck away know. from me. Like, who, do, who are you? No, that's true. Can I, show, can I ask the fellas a question? Oh, Would you accept that proposal if a woman did propose to you? Mi amor, venga acá. Claro que sí. You're going to say yeah? Como, with the left? Is it with the left? Claro que sí, mi amor. Ay! He said yes. I said yes. Why not? Oh, shit. You hey, you, man. What kind of brain do you buy a guy? Whatever. Hit me with Cartier. Okay. With the diamonds all around the band. You dig? You I'm glad me? you know. <laughs> what, what kind of a dude poses with his ring? Hey. You know what I mean? How do how do a Baby nigga with, a, with the ring pose? How would the nigga when he get the ring pose and shit? Did you saw the? Did you see the pregnant girl that was on one knee? <laughs> Not only was she on a knee, she was pregnant. She too. knows what she wants. She knows what she wants. What's up with that? No, at that, it it at that point it's giving desperate. At that point, it's giving desperate because if a man nah, really wanted to, that's a, not that. She don't want to be a that's baby not daddy. What's the difference between that's not. That chick is <laughs> Nah, 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 chill, chill. Oh, no, he was actually a rapper. Yeah, man. So, so that makes it all right? I'm, I'm good with the... Hold on, hold on. So, I'm sorry. So, so I'm good on. with the flip-flops. I'm good with the... I'm, I'm cool we're with in that. a relationship, right? And we, 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 it's going great. We want to get married, right? We, we, pick, a, uh, we pick a location... You we and your scenarios. The, I mean, this is the part. This is the. <laughs> welcome to the blood exchange. Well, actually, no. Well, you've been here before. Yeah, you know how we yeah, do. You know, you know. We send out the invitations. It's a lovely day. Everyone's here. Everyone, baby. You got your dress. Woo. You're looking all amazing. You, Lavender. You know, mm. Pick the, the perfect dress for no, you. White. You know, white. Ooh, got the white. Whatever you, mm. you did. The thing, you picked it out. You, you need three it. people to hold the back. Mm. You dig? Mm. The wing, right? And I come out. The tail. And I come. And I come out, right? Yeah. Fresh Jordan jersey in the 11s, baby. Woo! Hit me with it. With some cut off, with some like cut off shorts. Like you want the Jordan, shorts. the. But the fresh Jordan give jersey. You the Jordan intro? Not even Chicago the Michelin S, the actual old shit. Dun, 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 dun. Headband and all that. What would I do? 
You good, right? No. I'm crispy. This is like a this is like a three thousand dollar outfit. Look yeah. at these Jordan ones. I mean, these Dior 11s ones. I have on. Look at these you, 11s that could I have. be the reception outfit when you change or whatever. Dior, but I don't Dior know. Oh, I, oh yeah. Or I've had, I have the Dior ones on with the crispy Wizards Jordan jersey. Throwback. Actually, th that's a good pair of shoes for like a tux, like the Jor the no Dior tux. ones no, with no a tux. tux. I have a At jersey a wedding, on. that's fire. No tux. But, no, no, no tux. I have a jersey on. Or you know what? To, to follow the trend, I have a see-through uh, white, uh, white tee on. Honestly, it's above me because I don't even got to deal with that. Did My you family going to see the, you. Did you see the picture? Well, are we getting married, though? Yeah. Well, the dude, you saw the picture of the dude who got oh, married. Oh, we with... are. And you're going to change. Did you see the Yo, picture? I'm going to change. And, and they're going to find the tux for you. I didn't bring you. nothing Yo, that else. that see-through shirt, man. It don't I didn't matter. bring nothing else. This is all I brought. Did you, uh, okay, did you see the picture of the dude who yeah, got married? Yeah, yeah. Why was his shirt so, like, Thin. It was it was yeah. silk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, saying, I'm good wow. with the flops. I'm good with the flip flops. Like he wants to be comfortable. Nah, but his hair and everything shorts, was just too much. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about a man? Bleak show me natural. pictures of his fits. It's natural. It's his natural. other fits. Bleak show me pictures man of his fits. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can we cycle through some of his fits? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Is, is a man's sense of style very important to you? Um. Do, 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 Great guy. Amazing. Funny. Everything. He can't dress for shit. What do you mean can't dress? Like, he's not drippy. He does not know how to dress. He's not drippy or like, because there's different definitions of can't dress. Like, okay. some people don't consider... He just, he just doesn't put good outfits together. Whether they don't match, they don't fit well. They're not the he's just not good at dressing, putting clothes on. Yeah. What was the question? How's this man's sense of style or fashion to you? How important is that? How important is um, it? Is it important? It is important to me. Because you said clean. He's wearing so it doesn't day. matter. Like, you don't have to be like, Label down like it don't have to be Dior down to that, but you gotta know how to push it together. Like if you're out here looking stupid, then like uh oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we're talking about. What's an what's an example? There you go. That's what's a good an example one. Example of looking stupid. I feel like I've done that. Um, like you ever see like a guy wearing some shit and you'll be like, oh my god, he looks so stupid, and then they swear like they're the flyest in the world. Like it's yeah. not nothing specific, yeah. but I feel like that's, but uh, if that's, it falls like, under that, I'm not okay. jacked. I feel like what's 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 pissing you off in that situation is the arrogance. All right, so let me okay. let me ask it a different way. When you see a guy that's dressed well, no, it's you, the audacity. Exactly, because audacity? the audacity of you to think that you fresh, you mad fresh right now, like bro. Because there's a couple bitches that probably told me, there's probably friends and a couple bitches that told him he was fresh. Hey, nice, nice so shirt. So then, how do them bitches dress that you so gassed up about? Hold on, but, but, but back to you. When you see a dude in your eye or estimation that's dressed well or looks good or is, fl you know, flea or whatever, right? W what is the first two things that you notice that, like, wow, that's, that's a well-dressed man? Like, what are, the, what are the two things? First two things. <laughs> um, Probably like color scheme. Oh, okay. 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 Color schemes and also like all oh, the fits. The fit. The, the fits. fit of the clothes. The okay. fit of the clothes. Fit of the clothes. Yeah. Because too baggy, too tight is like it, you know, too baggy or too tight is both bad. So the fit of the clothes mm. and what else? The 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 color scheme, the color and everything, scheme, the you color know? scheme color and the scheme. fit. Like, so are you if you know those... how to put neutrals, colors together, you do you know like what more? I mean? Do you like, like more vibrant colors? A man that dresses more colorful, or a man that dresses more mute, like more. Honestly, bottled? it doesn't matter to me as long as you're putting it on together. It looks the nice. right way. It looks mm -hmm. nice. You know, because it doesn't matter. Do like... are, are shoes important too? Because I know a lot of females say that the first thing they look at a dude if they're even interested, they look right at his feet to see what shoe kind of shoes he wears. Oh, um, is that something that you do? No. But I could see why they say that. Yeah. I could see why they would do that. Okay. But no, that's not the first Accessories, thing. Accessories, jewelry. I look at nails. Nails. I look okay. at a man's nails. Because okay. like, if they're important. done, Cleanliness. then it, it goes to show a lot about like how he keeps up with himself and can take care of himself. Cleanness. Cleanness. Huh? Cleanliness. Watch this he decent. Not the mud. He, his, his mm -hmm. be nice. mm -hmm. It don't need to be nice, but like, Maintain. a man should get a manicure at least like, you have to. Once true. a season. I, I support. At this least. This is true. I support men getting manicures. There's nothing wrong with or that. Pedi and yeah. pedicures. And, and pedicures, pedicures too. Yeah. 100. I, I support that. A thousand percent. Yeah. And shaving. Or he does automotive. He got doing oil and got oil under his nails. And then he goes to go buy something real quick. And you see him in the drink. You got to judge him off of him. No. No. But if I see you consecutive. 
like consistently with your nails dirty, then it's like you just dirty. I think at that point, yeah, if you saw him in his work clothes, so you'd really give a, a dude you the would benefit think of the doubt. See him with the dirty, uh, with the dirty nails. You give the benefit of that. Nah, maybe he's a. No, I mean, he's in his work clothes. I don't know. When I when I've I've met guys like outside and they'll say it. They'll be like they'll excuse themselves for looking you know, the way that they look. Work, yeah, right? they'll be like, oh, don't don't think like that. And I'll be like, honestly, don't worry about that. You know. And just even them saying that goes to show like they care about their appearance because yeah. they just excuse themselves. Exactly, you know. Exactly. Good so point. it's like. Be aware, man. Clean. Clean like me nails. too. That's happened to me before. Where I'm like, yo, um, like and my shape. fault. Like I look crazy right now, but this is the worst it's gonna get. <laughs> From here on, it's just gonna get better. So I'll okay. see you like in a day or something. Not like this. Better. Yeah, exactly. So, you your work yeah. so let me if ask you, you a question. It's, 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 a, it's something that we talked about uh, in previous. If you show up to the day looking fucked up, then uh, all right. And it goes along with dressing up. Do you, how do you feel about men wearing uh, like negligee? Like what the fuck is a negligee? Like, negligee. Like, like men's wear, men's men's wear. Lingerie. Lingerie. Yeah, men's lingerie. Or like yeah. see-through shorts. Like if a dude has see-through shorts, yeah, like, or like the breakaway yeah. shorts. Like, yeah. like for me. Rah. Like for you. Like I did it for you. Oh, that's yeah. what the fuck. Really? Like, yeah, you come home. I took my shit off and I have the see-through basketball shorts. Like, yeah. What's up? Rah. What's going on? Yeah. What you doing? The, sock in the, front. You know what I mean? the elephant truck. I mean, in the front. I just feel, feel like that's like. You know, he's trying to like Spice it if up. if Spice I it if up. I come home and catch you in that yeah. doing your own thing, then it's like wait. I came with problem. Hold up. Is it a problem if you but come if home and catch me doing my own thing? Mm. We're in a relationship? I I'm mean practicing. if you're trying to like be in, if you like practicing. you know if you're getting ready for me and I happen to catch you, then yeah. Rehearsal. But if you're on your phone or on live or something like that, then I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you should be on live jaking. On live playing the banjo. I mean, that's DJ. Undulating, undulating your arms. That's the content. Oh, how's the content your, going? But honestly, if you, you need still? to get your content up, then fuck it. Then, yeah, you Wait, you have it. OnlyFans? I'm working. You subscribe? Are you gonna support? Oh, you gonna support? I've never, I've never supported any OnlyFans. Oh, but, talk um, about it. How do you feel about? How do you feel about? I mean, about, I will help you, you judge your content. Okay. <laughs> you screen, you screen it, you screen it. You're screen yeah. Yeah. My friend is actually like, like top twenty, like up there and shit. And well, I just means, saw that her means she has, That means she has like, like over twenty crazy. subscribers. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you could get to top twenty by just having twenty. Like if no, you have over no, twenty no. subscribers. I mean, like in the United top States, 20. like top, top twenty, baby. Top twenty only fans in That's the United easy. States. It's mad easy to do. Well, she got like a million followers. She make wow. a lot of money oh, on oh, there. Nah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, she's yeah, up there. Talking. She's up there. Yeah, yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah, that's now we're talking. And um, she showed me, and I was like, oh my god, like you know, and it's, tell, it's some good stuff. Like I, I see why she makes. Bread, tell the pull up. You know? Yeah, actually, right. she'll be here we're next with week. You, with you, and then yeah, we, can do we that. have a little girls' night or something. We talk about yeah. some other stuff. So the question is, you come home, you see your man, he's playing the banjo, undulating his arms. Dolo. WE40 though, yo. Yeah, double. He's getting it done. He's flogging the dolphin. Yeah. What is, what, how do, what, what's, how what's the way we wanted to say it? I, I, I don't know. All right, he's three hand jaking, uh, right? But you happen to be, uh, it's your time of the month and you are. Uh, that's cool with me. Incapacitated. That's cool with me. Because there's been times where. Wait, I'm hold like, on. Are you incapacitated on your time of the month? What do you mean? Are you. Are you um, I mean, because there's other things. TMI. Um, I mean, because there's other things, and also some people don't care about red lights. Um, I mean, it depends. Slow it down, slow it down. It depends on the person. But, um, I honestly don't care. There's been times where I'm not incapacitated and it's just like, nah, I don't want to fuck. Be like, oh, da, da, da. And they'll be like, okay, watch some porn. I don't know. If you want, I'll pick it for you. Maybe you'll like it. I don't know. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. But see, see, the, there lies a problem in like an, like an, it's like an age old issue I've had, like in my life, in the mm -hmm. past. And, and 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 a lot of brothers come up to me and listen. I get a lot of viewer mm -hmm, brothers. questions. Brothers in the struggle, for other the men, for the other bros. Men. Yeah, no, I know, I know. I just laughing at the brothers. For the manosphere. Yeah. yeah, for the manosphere. Listen, man. I, it's a good one. Shout out to a lot of you dudes. You guys are doing well. We 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 are just turning the corner because I realized that there's something that's lacking, and I'd be irresponsible not to use our platform exactly. to help out the brothers. But listen. Yes. Yeah. There's an issue that that men have with this kind of situation, especially like the period shit. It it, it makes it ring true even more. Mm -hmm. Why do dudes have to 
go through this push and pull. Like, all right, for example, you're on your period, right? Yeah. Why aren't you topping? Why do I have to ask you for the top? Why do I have to be like, so is there anything else you can do? Just, you know, like, oh, <laughs> you can't have sex, so what's going on? So, you should just be topping. I guess so. Why you is just, your why do I have to ask responsibility, you? Because though. you're my shorty. Because you're my shorty. So yeah. but me being at ease, porn, so putting, my, ahead, bro. putting my body at ease yeah. should be your concern. Oh, okay. This is your relationship. It's your job is to do the best that you can do to make me happy. Okay. That is your job as my partner. Yeah. That is your job. We're in a relationship. Mm. So, like, I'm not okay. in no relationship. That does, just, any woman that says to me this sentence or any kind of sentence like this. Is? Hold on, one second, one second. Any woman that says to me this sentence or sentence like this, <laughs> your nuts are not my concern. My nuts, your nuts are not my job. Yeah. Brothers, please, please, uh, please get out of there. Please. Run. Get out of Fast. there. Fast. Sorry, what were you saying? Um, It's just not always my responsibility. Like, it's a two-way street. I have to want to suck dick. I can't just be like, oh, he wants me to good suck point. dick, so let me just suck dick. Good point. I don't want to go to work. That's a good point. I don't want to go to work. Good point. I don't want to go to work what today. Happened? You can't say that? No, yeah. So, she can say anything you want. Say, yes. Oh. Anything you want. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. I think he, he said, just whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I was going to get I think he's just trying to ask no, 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 no. That was a good point, though. It's just, true. Just, just, just it's not my, like, then that's forcing me to do what I don't want to do because for okay. your happiness. Yeah. Okay, but, but see, like, we're already getting carried away here. We're in a relationship already. So my so happiness, whoa. so my happiness, I would think, since we've gotten this far, we're in a relationship. Not. Of course, but see, why do we have to go to an extreme? I'm saying, why what are, you are men... What do you mean an extreme? Oh, oh that's crazy. That's so nah. What are you talking about? Is that an extreme because a woman wants oh, to continue yeah. to... Let me why say can, what I'm why saying. Why can't my man talk? Why can I say what I'm saying? This okay, go, go. Y'all are so ready to protect her. Like, she didn't no, say... That. Let, her say let her say what she's saying. Yeah. She said what she's saying. Let me say what I'm you saying. You don't feel yeah. this? What go, the hell go, is go. niggas talking about? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> My man can't my have a train safe of thought, space. Nah, nah, on the blood nah. <laughs> This is out of control, my nigga. See, see we gotta that? get, we gotta correct shit. This is some Cap bullshit, it? bro. If we're in a relationship, my, you know what I like. I know yeah. what you like. The uh -huh. shit that we're trying to get done. There's a point in time now that you're not having sex because okay. you, you don't feel comfortable having sex because of that. Yes. Because some women don't have that issue. They don't have that problem. Let's go in the shower, put a towel down, or I don't give a fuck. <laughs> let's, not you pretend like you, let's, not pretend, let's not pretend you've not lived this life You're a grown ass woman So yeah. you understand how it is It's case by case, person by person So if you know what I like You can't even have sex with me Why do I have to ask you for the top? Why do I have to put myself yeah, please, Yo baby girl, can I have the top? Now it's even Now it's whack That's You should be like yo, I can't give you no pussy mm -hmm. Let me suck this nigga's dick Wow I mean, you know, and, and, when you, and when you initiate shit like that, you don't have to suck the dick three or four times. And I'm not gonna ask you 10, 8, 15 times a day. I'm gonna be so grateful. You're like, oh, 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 dick. fire, whoa. That shit might be out, <laughs> I might be out of here in two minutes. It might be like, oh, yeah, thank you. Whoa. You're the, You're the I'm goat. ordering food. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, whatever it is. You know how that works. But it's like, it's like, for some reason, women feel disrespected to like do shit to like yo I'm not doing shit for a nigga like he's getting over on me like oh I'm doing like what <laughs> okay. so making me nut is you're losing and how are you losing where's the loss here no it's not like you're losing so you don't, even have the, just, you don't wanna have how sex about with if me I don't in a relationship wanna, but how about if I just don't wanna suck dick okay so that's a one day because that's no. one day I'm not talking about one day when you, you're allowed to not wanna do shit I'm saying why do I regularly have to ask for head. Mm. That's craziness. Mm -hmm. You know niggas OD love head. Most niggas love head more than anything in the world. My there's nothing in the is, okay. there's nothing in the world they love think, more than head. I don't Why think, are niggas have to ask for head? They'll I don't do think anything. Men for head. understand how difficult well some women enjoy sucking dick, but yes, you're literally some taking something and This is all cap guys. Go I'm sorry. Shoving it down your throat and basically Cap. cutting off your circulation to Cap. give somebody else pleasure. Basically, she's right? capping. She's it's capping. Tough so job. It's a pretty tough job. It, I can't say. No, it dead ass is. It's though. a pretty tough job. So, hey, yo, how do you know that? Is it? That's out of control. Stop. Yeah, I'm. I'm super straight. I'm super <laughs> straight as well. I just want to. I just want to remind everybody. I'm super straight. I'm super straight. But you already know what it like, is. I'm gonna tell you why it's cap, but I want to hear you say everything you want to say. Yes. Yeah. You know, your your home here, your family. It's just like, it's not fair. 
What do you mean it's not it's fair? It's so much easier Life to eat pussy than it is to suck dick. What are you? Are you Life crazy? Is I mean, what? Are you crazy? We wouldn't know, but it's just it's just like. It's a. It, it, hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Michael Duckle is what? Hold on. Isn't it a relevant? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. So, your reasons for not wanting to suck dick are it's hard. No. I didn't say that. I'm I'm not about supporting reasons as to why I would not want to. It's too much effort. Is that. A lot of effort. So, it's it's too hard. It's a lot of effort. No, it's not that it's too hard. Let me tell you why this is bullshit. Let me tell you why this is bullshit. When a shorty likes you, or she's turned on, she's thirst to suck your dick. Any kind of way you want to suck, anything. It doesn't matter. Mm. So this is laziness, one. Wow. Negatory. And this, it is laziness. Because when you're in the mood, you suck the dick from the back. It don't matter. You're going to come up with some shit like, yo, let me get the icicles. Like, what? Shorty, what are you doing? Like, what? Icicles? Don't waste the icicles. No, what but every doing? girl has their thing. Oh, I got, the, I got the applesauce, the strawberry shit. Like, yo, that shit yeah. is cold as fuck, Like, shorty. I have girls that actually literally enjoy sucking dick. No, yeah. And that's their thing. That's what. That's their that's go-to. Plus. That's literally their go-to. Like, they don't even yo, care do you, about sex. Do you think men enjoy... They do you enjoy think, sucking do you dick. Th- and I just don't understand. Like, it's like, sis, what? Like, Because that shit is... Because fu- you're like, pleasing your man. You're pleasing him. Yeah. Like, that... A lot of women... But you, they it's, get it's pleasure crazy. from... Listen, it's crazy. You might not believe this. A lot of women no, get know. pleasure from pleasing their man. That gives That's them pleasure. That's definitely a situation. Do you think men enjoy paying for all your shit? No, no, no. Same. Do you think they enjoy it? Same, but that's not my form of pleasure that I would give to receive my pleasure back. You know okay. what I mean? I mean but, but that's not about you getting your pleasure you. back at that point yeah. in time. It's about pleasing him. It's not about no, you. No, but we've said that there's women that get pleasure from... I mean, providing that's a bonus. Pleasure. Yeah. That's a bonus for them. They're they're gifted because it's a plus, plus. the shit but that they, they have like to do to that. please their partner. I like they also the get pleasure stuff. from. I like all the other stuff. No, way but more but who said that other stuff is not happening? We're talking about why do men have to ask for head so much? That's out of control, and y'all got to do better. But is that honestly? Mm. This is gonna sound crazy. I'm not, gonna it. It. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. You have to say it. It's blood exchange. Say it. Say it. Talk You're good. about it. If it's too crazy, no, we'll clean it. It is too crazy. Talk about it. How can it be too crazy? Let's see. If it's when too y'all crazy, suck can... dick, then you let me know. That's it. And that's, that's crazy. Simple. That's crazy. Simple. That's crazy. Simple. It is. It is when very you simple. Choke, that's when you crazy. choke on the dick, talk about it. What do you and make it uncomfortable? Okay. 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 What do you What do you love to get from a man? Whether it's something physical that he does or um, I like intimacy. All right, like what? what what's your ultimate? Like, like what's your ultimate? Like pleasure? Like what brings you the best joy? Like um, not the actual. Don't tell me like the specific thing, but like like you said, intimacy. Like 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 somebody who truly loves you or something like that. Like like no, what do you no, mean? No. Like I getting mean, like, gifts? Like, like what do you mean? Making no gifts is not intimacy. No, I'm just, um, I'm just, I'm just asking. Like. Making out the yeah, whole hot, the hot, hot raw sex. Romance. All right, so if, if that brings if that brings you if that no, rubs. not that no. So if all hot raw sex, if, if, if he Let's knows, be honest. if he Lick knows, toys. if he knows Lick that brings you ultimate rubs. pleasure, and he's willing and he's doing that for you, he's he's knowing your love language, and his love language might be he likes to get the top. Top, so top. you so you do the things for the person that you love in order yeah. to like see them. I mean, ultimately happy, right? Mm-hmm. I feel no, like- yeah, I would do it, but am I? I probably do it a couple times without you asking, but I'm not just gonna volunteer myself to do that. Yeah, knowing that I don't like to do it. He has to know this though at some point. Yeah, like, guys, I'm gonna say it once again, so and, I- and to you, I would want to say to females, if. It's going to be a chore for you to suck my dick. I don't think we should, we're in the right relationship. Okay. And, and dudes, if that's something that you, no, that's, that's very, very important to you and it's a priority to Standards. you. Standards. And she won't do it, then bro, stop wasting your time. Bro, that's the that's the key for today. Stop wasting your time. Stop it. If it's hard, if it's mad stop hard. Stop being counterproductive. If it, there you go. I like you, Ken. You're not getting the desired um, you're not, get out stop of there. Effect wasting that your you time. wanted. Get stop out of there. Wasting your time. Listen, I, I, listen when I'm, when you, once you get the person and you're in it, you try to make it work. You feel me? You try to make it work. You can't just give up for nothing. But before that, hey, I have a question. don't waste your time. If, if shorty, okay, my shorty, hypothetical situation. Eating ass. Yeah. <laughs> Feet fetish. Yeah, there'd be moments I wasn't in the mood, 
But honestly, I would take that sacrifice. Like, just suck some tools, I would take that sacrifice and, some and get, to it. get to it. And get to it. I mean, to there's going to be times where I really can't do it. And I'll be like, yo, shorty, I'm what not. What you mean you can't? Wanna, what do you mean you can't? Like, I'm not in the mood. What Suck them toes. Can't? Suck them toes. What do you mean you can't? But I, but I, I will throw but, up but on I, you right now. I, I, I would, but, I would, I would often, but more than often, I would do it for you. I, I, and actually, I would try to initiate it to yeah, like, try to, yeah. when I'm in the mood, I'm yo, I'm yo, let's go, let me suck, let me suck them toes. So now, suck I got a toes. little bit of bank yeah. built up like, yo, I was sucking your toes on Thursday, shorty. Like, yeah. stop, stop. You fall owe back, me. fall back. So I'll you're what? Toes you said you owe me? Yeah, I, no, that meant by him, like, it's like, oh, I sucked your toes on Thursday, now you owe me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, no, it's not about I'm it. saying, oh, I'm, saying I'm not in the mood today, but remember, like, yesterday, I was sucking your toes, too. Yeah, you didn't even ask. <laughs> I think it's like you didn't yesterday. even say nothing to me. I just was sucking your toes. You, 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 you didn't even say nothing. I mean. That's one of my special moves, bro. I wouldn't know. Uh, there we go. Mean? Yeah, yeah. You there wouldn't know. Go. You wouldn't know. I'm telling you know right now. Mad dudes have smashed and not nutted and faked it, bro. I promise you. That's a special move. So how does how do you produce uh, fake uh, stuff? Oh, that means you see it every time. You don't see it every time. You just have to believe. You just have to believe me. So where did it go? It didn't happen. It didn't happen. I didn't. Nut. I just stopped. I just wanted to stop. Because it wasn't um, going to happen. Yeah. Mm -mm. Come on. Yeah. How do you fake it? Uh, I faked it, nigga. I mean, oh, yeah. hypothetically. Um, uh, oh, so, I, you know, a lot of the times when I'm having sex, you know what I mean, when I was in that world, I'm not in that world, guys. Yeah. Stay safe and responsible, blood exchange. Um, and consent. It's always consent, important. boys. Uh, you're in a condom, shorty. Oh, I'm saying raw. You can still do it raw, too. I'll teach you. Yeah. But you're going to have to book a session. It's no, no. <laughs> I'll teach you. Hit me up. Yo, that's you hard, You fake man. that, too. That's difficult. But anyway, difficult. a lot of dudes, it's just not going to happen sometimes. I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes it's not going to happen. Yeah, sometimes y'all are not putting in the effort that dudes put in with the sex because sex is more important to us than it is to you. It's mental for us. It's too easy for you. Mm, it comes too easily. I feel like it's it, more mental for women than it sex, is men. It is, of course. It's more emotional. Yeah. It's more emotional. It's more, more, we, it takes more skill for a man to have sex. A woman can just go outside and have sex. Since you became a woman, men have been trying to have sex with you. Non-stop. I bet you if you go in your DMs right now, you probably have 200, 300, 400 DMs from niggas trying to, hey, what's, hey, you looking real, some bullshit. Because you're a <laughs> woman. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you're a woman. Yeah. So everyone's trying to get the vagina. As a dude, you have to try to get the vagina amongst all these dudes. We don't, most of us don't even know how, most of the dudes don't even know how to get vagina, have no idea. And there's a couple dudes trying to get the, the scraps right there. So what happens? What happens? Again, how is this my fault? I don't. You lost me like so long ago. All right. So, what, what, what was the point? Um. What was the question? Let me wrap it up. I'll, I'll the the, the if he doesn't come, I honestly I don't blame. I wouldn't blame myself for that. Okay. Because no, no, but you would never know. You would never know yeah, if he didn't come. You would never know. He, he just stops. Yes, how would you know if I fake like I if I if I fake like um, I finished? That has happened to me before, but he's like went soft. So I don't yeah, if I faked mm -hmm. like I, I finished, you would never know. But listen, the, the, that's a good question. How would you feel if when you have sex with a dude like a regularly, it's a good percentage of the times that he can't finish? He'd be like, hey, I'm good. What do you mean that a good, good. Per, What do you mean a good percentage? It's never gonna happen again. Like, it's only one percent. Oh, when he did it, he does it once, you're done. One Should time. Have I'm, maybe is that a hundred percent? Since it's only one time. But yeah, it's one It's hundred percent. It's his fault that he couldn't finish with you. That's, but, that's, that's a shared responsibility. But then right that goes back to how long you take to actually have sex with somebody. Because, like I said, I mm -hmm. lasted a really long time Eight to months. date whatever. So, when we do have sex, yeah, that is going to happen because you like me not only as my physical self, but you already like me as a person. So you're gonna get there. You know what I mean? If you're having like you're getting there, where is a one night stand? Then maybe Guys, I understand how it might not work. This is bullshit. There's no connection. Bullshit. Don't listen to this. It's bullshit. No, Don't it's not. There's no connection. So much that you intimidate me to the point where I might not want to. Give Bro, you I've I've, I've had I've, I've dealt. First time. I've the first time, every man feels like he's got to go above and beyond. So that's mental. That has everything to do. If his dick got soft, his mental was something. He could have. Oh, he could have been overworked. Yeah, he could have been yeah. super excited that he couldn't. He can't I've get in the. He more, can't concentrate and get in the moment. He's in his head. Damn. I've had more of the issue of it ending too quick, because 
the excitement. Be of the excitement rather than not because of the excitement. But how can you mm-hmm. say what you rather when you control? No, no, no. Now that I rather, I'm saying in my own experience in life, mm-hmm. I've experienced where it's been very short because, because of this they've been because excitement. of the excitement and because yeah. of the way and dating and liking each other rather than them not being mentally there. You know yeah. what okay, I mean? But we're talking about two different things. Like you're talking about being excited. It sounds like you're saying finishing early. I'm not talking yeah, yeah. about that. I'm saying they can't either get it up or keep it up. And I think traditionally is that's like the it's like we're putting the blame all on the dude. Like sometimes it'd be like I can't talk to you. I can't get you to do shit. I can't get you to move the way I want you to do. You're not being like you're like you know what I mean. So it's like. That's a shared responsibility, bro. I mean, bro. well, with, like, let's say, for example, like, with, let's say with the track record I have and then this happens, I would never blame myself because I've never had an issue with nobody in the past. So what is... Yeah. You feel me? You're the one out of... Whatever. Everybody so, else. So, but this so is, but I'm this not going to blame myself because if that were the case, I would the number would have been off. You know, I would have had... It would have happened before. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then why... why right. Okay, if, let, let's, let's... I'm going to give you all of that. That, it's all logical. That makes sense. You know what I mean? But what I'm also going to say to you then, so then why wouldn't a man get another chance though? Like why wouldn't he get, this could be a situation you understand and you experience and mm-hmm. you, you acknowledge the fact that it could be a knowing crazy situation, me, excitement, all that stuff. Knowing there has me, to be so why connection. wouldn't he get another chance? If you like the dude or he's a cool dude or like he got that far, why wouldn't he get another chance to, you think that you're, every time you have sex is great sex? Like, dudes just know how to usually get to it. That's it. It could be a, it'd be a lot of different situations. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I'm in, you, you know, your face is somewhere else. It's somebody else's face right there. And that's, hey, wow, sometimes you got to do it. That's fucked up. Sometimes you got to do it. Sometimes you got to do it. What do you mean you got to do it? To finish. That's, we, call, we call that checking out. When we check out. When you're there, but or you're face fucking you. It's called face fucking. I got somebody else's face on you while I'm fucking you. So yeah. in that case, then you should just... You should just uh, go, if that's the case. Go. Why? Because See, I think you don't. You, I think you're not acknowledging. You're, 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 you want to fuck that person. No, that no. You're I think you're not acknowledging. So, yeah. You're not acknowledging I'm that not relationships one. are hard, right? And if we're gonna be in a relationship that you wanted to be in, like let's say we said a monogamous relationship, just me and you, right? Mm-hmm. That sometimes I want you to have a blonde wig on. Sometimes I want you to put on another wig. Sometimes I want you to act like you're somebody else. Sometimes I want to get the top when I come home and not ask for it. That shouldn't mm-hmm. be crazy. like. That. So then we should just, honestly, I feel like that goes into the whole open relationship thing. Because I'm not a blonde bitch, so why you want me to wear a blonde wig? Because sometimes I want you to, sometimes open I want a role play. Sometimes I want something different. Spice it up. You know. So uh, then keep it open and we'll do what you want to do. What? Varieties the spice Open life, relationship. Right? There you go. Yeah. So like. And role play. Oh, okay, you can't okay. put on a French yeah, maid, yeah. nurse's outfit, some, yeah. you know what I mean? Dress up. You know? Hey, man. But Spice it's cool. it up. I can role play. Meet me at the bar. We pretend like we don't know each other. I try to bag you at the bar. I'm we go good. home and have sex. Yeah. Feel me? We get the... Uh, oh, I got the telly. We're not even going home. Ooh, telly time. It's like we just did this whole, right now. Spur yeah, of the moment. we just did it. Code names and all that. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm Dr. Rock Johnson. Hey. Dwayne is nasty. She I mean, no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So, yeah. So you got to spice it up. But okay. if you're checking out, just just go, just go ahead. So I can't in that moment just for that one sexual experience. Like I need something to no, c- get me over the. No, you said sometimes. You said sometimes you have to. Yeah, to get me over the hump, to finish it off. Yeah. Uh, if in Angelina order to Jolie, come, no, you have to visualize uh, somebody Kerry else. Washington. That's not right. No, give me a name. Uh, uh, Kelly Rowland. Give me a name. Uh, I don't know. Felicia Rashad. Beyonce. Oh, Felicia Rashad. Ooh, Beyonce. How are you gonna say Ooh, Kelly Rowland, not Beyonce? Ooh. Kelly Rowland is beautiful. She is, but. Ooh. But what? Beyonce is Beyonce. I mean, Kelly Rowland is a very beautiful she woman. She is, but Beyonce is Beyonce. But like, just face up, Queen face B. up. Is you don't you don't think Kelly Rowland got a little? No, she's fire. Got a she's Queen like B. Very but, very beautiful. Yeah, Queen Kay, B. Okay, always a fucking pleasure. <laughs> Will you come back again? Did you have fun? Yeah. You gotta come back again. I think we did a lot of relationship stuff. A lot of. Uh, Dynamics between yeah. interpersonal. Yeah, it was good. We, we had a, a fun lot. time. We talked a lot. Uh, Bleak, anything you got to say? <laughs> <laughs> anything to say, Bleak? Nah, man. Crump, are you oh, alive? Man, Crump, right Crump there, yo. are yeah. you here? Yeah, man. Are you alive? Oh, you talked a lot. You talked a lot. I was talking the whole time. <laughs> yeah. shout, out, shout out to the Bud Man. Yeah. 
Shout nah, out to the nah, 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 nah. I'm, I'm attentive. Nigga, you are. Is there, I'm baked, attentive. Nigga. Uh, Blood Exchange. Attentive. Episode 38. Episode 38. Thank you for uh, rolling up. Ra! Thank you for pulling up, rolling up, lighting up, keeping it blunt with us. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Beep, Help beep, us grow beep, the channel. Beep, beep. We need about 8 to 10 Lambos. Uh, thank you for the gallery. Pull up. Lambo squad. The gallery art recording studio. Thanks for the staff in the back. Brian eight to ten. And Corey, and Corey left. Left. Uh, we we'll see you next week, guys. Thanks for pulling up, man. Bye. Let's get it. Let's get it.